Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add PayPal debit or credit card buttons in your Shopify store. So the problem here is that our customers are trying to do the payment, but they don't have the PayPal account. They are only interested in doing the payment using credit card or maybe debit card. So I will show you step by step that how you can add PayPal debit and credit card buttons on your product page and cart page of the store. Here on my screen, you can see that I have installed refresh theme. If you have any of the free themes like Ride theme, refresh, sense, down theme, origin, spotlight, craft, taste, studio, crave, publisher, color block, trade. So this code will be applied for all these themes. I mean to say that the code which I'm going to implement for refresh theme so that you can also use for other themes. I have already given the links below in the description. So you should download two codes. Basically, the first code will be related to a uh, card page and second code will be related to product page. So let's start with the product page code. So you should open this documentation productttxt I have already listed all the steps. So the first step is go to Shopify dashboard, click on themes, click on edit code, click on snippets. So here in the dashboard, you can see that we have refresh theme installed. Click on three dots, click on duplicate. So you should duplicate this theme. Then you should click on edit code. Here we have some folders. You should click on snippets. And the second step is you should create a new snippet PayPal. Thank you. So copy the name from here and you should click on add a new snippet, paste the name here, then click on done. Once you are done, then you should paste the attached code, which is this one paypal thank you dot txt so copy the code from here and then paste it inside of this empty file and then click save close this file again and then you have the third step which is create another new snippet paypal buttons product so you should copy and then click on add a new snippet paste the name here then click on done and you should paste this code paypal credit card product copy the complete code from here and paste it inside of this empty file, save the changes and then close this file also. The fourth step is that replace client ID with live client ID of your PayPal. So basically the uh, file which we have just now created. So you should open it again. And here you will see that we have the client ID. So you need to replace this client ID with your original live client ID of your PayPal. I have already given the link below in the description. So you should watch that video and you should copy the live client ID of your PayPal and replace it over here. The purpose of this client ID is to connect your PayPal with the Shopify store. So once a customer is doing the payment, then you will receive the amount into your PayPal account. So right now I am going to add this uh, test client ID, which is from the sandbox account. So let me copy it and paste it right here. Then click on save. The next step is you should uh, have to update the currency if you want. So actually we have here currency code us dollars. So if you have any other currency, for example, Euro EUR, so you can put EUR here. The sixth step is go to man dash product dot liquid. So you should copy the file name here and you should search it here and you should click on man dash product dot liquid and inside of it you have to find quantity input. So let me search it using control F and it will be highlighted like this. So what we have to do is we need to copy this line of code and paste it just above this highlighted line and then save the changes. Once you are done, then you should go ahead with the seventh step. Go to assets, open global.js. So you should copy the file name and search it here. Click on global.js and then after you should find this line of code. So copy it and using control F, it will be highlighted and you should press enter key again. And here is a function which is starting from here and ending at this line. So basically we have to paste this new line of code over here, just above this curly brace and then click on save. Once the changes are saved, then you should go ahead with the eighth step, which is go to customize product, create a custom HTML section and paste below code. So we need to copy this code and then go ahead, go to the dashboard of the store, click on customize, click on this drop down, click on products, click on default product. And here you need to click add block. We have to click on custom liquid and paste the code here. Then you should move this section just below buy buttons, click on save and then go back and follow the ninth step which is go to theme.liquid find this close body tag and paste code above it so actually this line of code we need to paste above the close body tag 
so where we have the close body tag you should go to layout and here we have theme dot liquid and at the bottom we have a body tag close body tag and just above it we are going to paste a new line of code which is this one so i am going to paste it right here then click on save and then after you should have to preview the changes so here we have the catalog for example for example this is the product you should click on it and here we go now you can see that on product page we have paypal we have debit or credit card so let's test this debit or credit card button you should click on it and it will open a form where we can actually enter the card details so i have the test card details i am going to add those for example right now i am writing here rani and then you can add the shipping details here you scroll it down select the state select the zip code then we have to add the phone number and then you should put the email id and then click on pay now once the payment is done then you will have this confirmation pop up here thank you rani confirmation id is this your conf your order is confirmed order details are like this email id shipping address now we need to confirm the transaction so you should log into your paypal account so let me log into my sandbox paypal account and here you need to log in if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video once you are logged into your paypal account you should scroll it down and here you can see the last transaction rani so once you are opening this you will find out that we have shipping address and then we have also the product information which is this one we have quantity we have price so that's how you can actually collect the payment from your customers and now we are interested to remove this yellow button if you want so how we can do that you should go back to the code and here we have to scroll a little bit down and you can see funding sources and we have paypal.funding.paypal so you can remove it and then you can click on save and then you should refresh it back here you can see that we have yellow button hide it but for now i am not interested to remove it because i wanted to keep that yellow button as well so i have undone the changes and it is appearing now so next step is that how we can add these buttons on our cart page so the first thing is that you should go to the customize and click on settings scroll it down click on cart and you should select page or maybe pop-up notification okay click on it and here you should refresh it back and you should click on this cart icon and here you can see that we are redirected to cart page just below this checkout button we are going to add those paypal button as well as debit and credit card button so how we can do that i have already given the code so here is the code paypal buttons cart refresh so here we have the documentation dash cart so the first step is go to shopify dashboard click on themes click on edit code click on snippets so we have the code here let me close all those old files which were for product page so here you can see that we have all these folders click on snippets and then after you should create a new snippet paypal thank you which we have already created so actually this is a thank you page which we have already created so we don't need to create it again so you need to follow the same steps which we did before if you wanted to do the third step is create new snippet paypal buttons cart so copy this and then you should uh, click on add a new snippet paste the name here click on done and then you should copy this code which is attached here all right and paste it right here then click on save you can close this file go back to the documentation replace client id with live client id of your paypal so how you can do that you should actually search here paypal uh, dash buttons dash card dot liquid so actually i already mentioned you like you need to replace this client id with your original live client id of your paypal because in that way the transactions will be genuine so i have already given the video link so you should watch those video steps and copy the live client id and paste it right here i am going to add my test live test client id from the sandbox just for the testing purpose for now click on save then go back to the fifth step you can update currency if you want so actually here you can see that we have us dollars if you wanted to update to any other currency for example euro we can put it eur so in the same way you can update any uh, other currencies the sixth step is go to sections open main dash card dash footer dot liquid so let me open this file search it here 
here we have main dash card dash footer you should search card dash errors and let me copy and using control f it is highlighted and here we have mm, highlighted line so you need to paste this line of code just above this line okay and then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go ahead with the seventh step go to themes customize settings cart and change card type to pop-up notification which we already did actually in the customize we already changed the uh, settings for the we already changed the settings for card type which is right now pop-up notification so we don't need to update now so eighth step is go to assets open card.js so copy the name from here and search it here in the search box click on card.js and then after you should find card footer so you should copy and using control f it will be highlighted here and now we are going to copy these three lines and paste it just in between and click on save once the changes are saved then go ahead with the ninth step so you should go to theme.liquid or and you should find body close tag and paste the code above it so actually this line of code we are going to paste it uh, in the theme.liquid which we already did before so here is the theme.liquid and at the bottom you can see we have body tag close and just above it we included thank you page which we already did so we don't need to repeat the steps again so now you can actually close these files and uh, let's see the preview so here is the card page let me refresh it and here you can see that we have paypal buttons appearing so let me test the debit or credit card button so you can see that once i clicked it has opened the form i can add the card details here so you can see here for example tina and we have shipping address and we have the state we have zip code here and then we have the mobile number you can add email id and then click on pay now once the payment is done then you will have this confirmation message thank you tina confirmation id is this your order is confirmed and order details are given below like you have added the email id you have added shipping address so let me cross check the transaction now so you should log into your paypal account again and you should cross check like you received the payment or not if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video so i have logged into my paypal account scroll it down and the last transaction is tina so here you can see that if i am clicking on it we have shipping address and then we have the product name we have quantity we have price so everything is working fine so that's how you are collecting the payment from your customers all right so if you have any problem or something you can ask me i will help you out in that let me close this and the cart will be empty continue shopping and here you should go back to the product for example i am going to click on add to cart click on view cart and if you are interested to remove this yellow button so how you can do that you need to follow the same steps which we did before so you should scroll it a little bit down and uh, uh, you should remove paypal.funding.paypal from here let me save the changes and let me refresh it back here we go now yellow button has been removed if you are interested to remove checkout button also so how you can do that go to customize click on uh, this drop down click on cart click on this section and you should click on this i button click on save and then you can refresh this page and you can see that the checkout button is no more here this is how you can actually hide the checkout button so i have implemented all the things in front of you if you have any problem or something you can ask me i will definitely help you out in that if you have any new feature to develop or you have to customize something you can directly contact me i will add the contact details below in the description so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video